as we get into step five, we're getting into ball striking drills. And again, those starting with a very short swing, basically from here to here. And those are the drills in step five of my seven step learning program. And this is pretty easy to follow, but difficult to do. And I spend a lot of time in my schools, making sure that every customer does these drills properly because I find them to be the most important part is if you can't move the club properly from here to here, how are you ever gonna get it right with a bigger swing? And I know we all wanna hit the ball far, but the key to learning to hit the ball far and straight is to get this impact area perfected. And that's what these following drills will do. Basically, ball striking drills one through four. They're very simple. When you understand the first six drills that we did a moment ago, we just tie those together into ball striking drill. So for step number five and ball striking drill one and the accompanying drills, I'm just gonna go over them briefly here. And these are the drills that I spend a lot of time with in the schools, making sure that every customer does them properly. Again, we're getting set up normally for a seven or eight iron shot. You can use any club though to do these drills. And all we're going to be doing here is what we did in drill number one. We took the club to here, and then we're going to make our body motion, and we're gonna finish where we did in drill number four. This looks very simple, so it looks like this. Once you get decent at it, and you can do this at home too without golf balls to begin with. You wanna see the club moving on plane, and that the grip is pointed here at the side of my body and not back this way. The biggest mistake people make is that they do that. We don't want that obviously, so I want you here to make some practice swings, paying attention to where the club hits the ground and then you can move to a golf ball and try to repeat that. I want you to hold your finish here so that you can check the position of the golf club. It should not be up here. Mine was actually a little bit farther than I would like for this drill. Please note the ball is about 10 yards in front of me. I'll start with people here near the chipping or pitching green for this drill. It looks like this. Trying to keep my head in position, keep the leg flexed, turn the hips. So I'm moving the club with my body and my hands are relaxed. So that is from step five, ball starting drill one. I'll also do some advanced drills where we learn to move with just the lead hand the same way and the trailing hand the same way. There's a number of other drills also and with the same idea that we're learning to move the club properly using the body motion to develop a perfect impact. And that's the most important thing, perfect impact. Step yeah. number six in my seven step program includes ball striking drill two. And that's basically a half swing or a two thirds swing. But that's going to be using what we learned in the drills from step four. And that's simply, we're gonna turn back to where we did in drill number two and we're gonna swing through to where we went in drill number five. So we're simply doing this turn and finish with the club towards the target. The body's turned. So it would look like this. At the same time, we're doing what I call the divot drill, which is also part of step number six. And that's showing me how far I should be standing from the golf ball. So I'm turning back and when my club brushes the ground here, or makes a shallow divot, I can see how far away from my body that is, and I would keep that same distance when I go to the golf ball. So I'd be here, check my alignment. And then go to the ball and repeat. That's straight. Check your finish position on this drill. Make sure that you're doing it properly. It's best the V1 Golf app allows you to film uh, your swing for free. Buy a little cheap tripod and phone holder and you're good to go. If you become a member of my website, you can even share the video with me. 
and I can analyze it for you. So I have no doubt that with this system you can become a great golfer. So follow step by step. As we move on to step number seven, there's two ball striking drills there and they're both, they're taking you into more of a full swing. What we're going to do for step number seven, ball striking drill three, is simply again, set up routine. And all we're going to be doing is moving here from the top of the backswing drill three, but again, to ball striking drill, drill number five, where we're gonna finish. So we're gonna move from drill three to drill five, drill three, drill five, drill three, drill five. Trying to feel the rhythm that the body's moving first as we learned in the drills without golf ball. Then when we get a feel for that and we get a feel for our distance from the ball that we need to stand. Maybe we can show you the ball flight too if that works today. We got dead straight. Almost hit the target. Again, you have to make sure you get all this prior parts and steps correct first, getting the setup ideal to fit you. Again, there's a whole section on customization in my member section, and I've talked about that in some videos here on YouTube as well. But for my members, you can check it out there. Perfect one. In ball striking drill number four, what we're going to do is simply do drills three to drill six, which is the finished position. You should be comfortable with this motion first and with the preceding drill before doing this. Start out doing it slowly, so from here to here. When you can hit the ground in the right spot, then move forward to the ball and just try to repeat that like that. So hopefully shot tracer works here and I will be able to insert the shot tracer ball flight there. That was perfect. Even though I'm a little bit of a side hill lie here at the back of the range, this is just where the sun was best for shooting today. So again, drill three to drill six. Make sure my body's leading. Once I'm set up, another one dead straight. Now I'll hit a couple more shots for you. And what I do is I'm hitting them good. I didn't really warm up today, but uh, the, all doing all the drills is a good warm up. So I'll gradually just speed it up then a little bit. Again, checking my alignment, my setup. A perfect one. It's perfect just like that. So follow my program step by step and I'm certain you will improve your golf swing more than you ever thought possible. Please visit my website at learninggolf.tv. There is an inexpensive membership program that allows you to send in videos for my review. It has all the drills where they're repeated 10 times for each drill that you can follow along with at home. It also allows you to send in videos through the free V1 Golf app. Also view my school programs currently in West Palm Beach, Florida and Cincinnati, Ohio. I also have one day school with Tony Griffin available in Sanford, North Carolina. Now again, please click the subscribe button, like this video. When you do subscribe, also click to receive notifications for my channel. That way as new videos are released, you'll be notified so you can continue improving your golf game. Thank you very much and I hope you have a great day.